guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Violet here. I don't know why I sound like a newscaster for me now. I was like, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> but anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And today, I'm gonna be reacting to celebrity Halloween costumes. So, I'm excited because I love Halloween. Guys, I always say I'm gonna dress up for Halloween every single year. And I never end up dressing up for Halloween. And it was no different this year. I didn't dress up. Hoping the next year, next year, next year I'll get it for sure. Let's get this show on the road. I already know the first person I'm gonna be reacting to is Beyonce, so yeah. The first one we have is this. She killed this, guys. This is her dressed up as Toni Braxton. At first, I was like, oh okay, like I just live under a rock, but I was I didn't even know that Toni Braxton's album cover was like this, so I was like, oh okay. It says Phony Braxton, so I was like, okay, well, she's dressed up as Tony Braxton, obviously. But then I clicked over here, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> she actually did a really, really, really good job. But Beyonce killed it. Beyonce always does, like, always brings it for Halloween, though. Like, she always goes over and beyond. One thing Halloween has taught me is if you're rich, your Halloween costume is gonna be fire. And she has other pictures. Yep, this one as well. I was like, oh, and she's like, <laughs> I love it. Another one she also did was um she got her flow Joe on and I am loving it. Look at this! Did she actually do the pose? She was like <laughs> Beyonce actually kills me in this pose. I was just like, how does she look so it looks like a robot? It doesn't even look like she's like in midair. So next you have Rihanna. Rihanna didn't do much this year. I was expecting a bit more. She didn't do much. All she did was like wear her leather and she painted her face. I'm not sure what she's supposed to be, I guess like a skeleton, I'm guessing. I don't know why she didn't do much, like she just didn't do much. Like the outfit looks like something she'll wear on a daily basis. <laughs> it looks nice, but it looks, like something that, it looks like something that she'll wear in general, so it's not really a costume and she just painted her face. That's me when I'm about to go out on Halloween and I'm like, oh I don't have a costume, like, let me just paint my face really quickly. <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> you know, she looks good. I expected more. But this is good too. She looks nice, so hey, I'll give her that much. But in terms of if it's a Halloween contest for best costume, she's not winning. Next we got Missy Elliott. She dressed up as herself from back in the days. And that is on a different level. Look at this. No, she actually took me out with this. That's on a different level, is when you dress up as yourself for Halloween. It sounds almost um, self-indulgent, but it's actually really creative and it's funny as hell. I love it. Like, I loved it. I hope she went out like that. I wish she went bigger though, like with the, you know how in that video she has like the big, like, bubble coat or whatever overalls on? I wish she did that, but this is good too. This works. And I love her hair, and this woman did not age, I swear. She looks just like the video, like she looks like same. No wrinkles, nothing. Black don't crack, right? Next up, we have the Kardashians. Okay, first of all, I know they all had like 10,000 costumes this year. They made it like a thin, and I love it. So you have Kim Kardashian first. Look at, like just look. Take, feast your eyes on such a nice body. Like, I know people are going to be like, oh, it's surgery, it's surgery. Yeah, we all, we all know this. But it doesn't take the fact away that it's a nice body. When you see fake hair, it's still nice hair, you know? And her body is nice. Like, what? I think the whole outfits, like, the whole thing, Victoria's Secret gave to them to use. You know your status and eliteness has reached a certain level when the company that you're trying to emulate gives you the stuff to use. Like, that's actually sick. Like, what? Her hips, her waist, like, her body is so nice. It's such a nice body. Can you imagine if they actually went trick or treating like that? And then she has this look. She went as Pam Anderson and Tommy Lee. I don't have much context to go on, so I don't know how spot on it is, but I don't know this picture. I'm assuming they picked like a certain look, but I don't know. I don't know much about Pamela Anderson or Tommy Lee, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say spot on. I like her other one better because it's more easier to recognize what she is. I like costumes that are a bit more obvious, but with context, it looks pretty spot on. But let's move on to Khloe Kardashian. Once again, she's a Victoria's Secret model. She looks great. She just finished having a child and her stomach looks better than mine and I've never had kids in my life. 
but whatever. Kendall looks like she should be on the runway right now, like right this moment. Well, I know Chloe also had a leopard one that she did with her child, with True, but I don't know. I don't see it on her page right now. I swear it was there before. I'm not sure what happened to it, but that one was really cute because her and her child were matching. Okay, here it is. <laughs> this is such a cute picture. Like, I love it. It's not a cheetah. It's a tiger. That's cute. Aww. This is a cute one. I'm assuming this is how they went trick-or-treating because I doubt they went trick-or-treating in Victoria's Secret lingerie. Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna go to Kylie because I know she like had 10,000 costumes this year and they were all pretty cool. So let's just go down a list. The first one I saw was this one. I love the wings. Like the wings really sold this whole thing because everything else she's wearing is something I feel like she'll wear on any other day. But the wings are so pretty. And this picture in general is nice. The wig, everything about it looks nice. And then she has one with her baby and they're like matching and it's the cutest thing ever. Like how cute is that guys? How cute is that? And then she went ahead and made herself a Barbie. And she looks great. Like this is actually so sick. And she had all the wigs. Like this is what happens when you're rich and you can afford to have all these lace fronts just for a Halloween costume. I like this costume a lot. I was like, wow, Kylie Jenner is really, really going for it this year. Like, she is really taking on the role of being the new Halloween queen. And then you have her as the Victoria's Secret model. I remember this outfit. And she's like, thanks, Victoria's Secret, for letting me borrow Angel Candace's outfit for the night. I feel like an angel, a rich angel. Because those outfits are not cheap, like they spend so much time making those outfits, I'm really surprised they actually lent them out. Like you know you have money, power, and like prestige <laughs> when you can do that. And then she was a lightning bolt, like a stormy. Stormy weather! I get it! That was a cute one, it was clever. And Stormy looks like she's about to like do some MC Hammer dance. Kylie brought out all her wigs because this is a whole different wig. I wanna see her wig room. I just wanna see how many, how many wigs she has. And then last but not least, she was a Fanta girl. So she had this look. She had like five costumes this Halloween. I was just like, damn. Pineapple Fanta. Since Kylie had so much outfits or Halloween costumes, I need to choose my most favorite, my least favorite. My most favorite costume is probably this one because it just looks like they took their time <laughs> to put on that stuff, to go in that box, and to take that picture. And she looks like a Barbie, like she looks like she's not alive. And my least favorite is probably the Fanta one. It's cool, I like the idea of it because I think her and like five of her friends were all Fanta girls and they all had different flavors. But just standing alone <laughs> without, like, without context, it just looks like a yellow outfit. So I don't really care for it. It looks like she's about to go clean, <laughs> clean the kitchen with those gloves. You know those yellow gloves that they give you and you get clean the kitchen? That's what it looks like to me. Let's move on to Kendall. Da -da. She looks like her normal job. She just looks like she's doing her normal job. Just walk in like a Victoria's Secret model. And she's really shapely for a really, 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 really skinny girl, eh? Like she really has a lot of shape. The wings actually fit her. Like, her sisters are so short, so the wings swallow them up. But it doesn't do the same thing to her because she's so tall. This is my favorite costume for her. Yep, definitely. Definitely, hands down, it wins. It wins. Once she goes to Katrina or if she's walking down the street, she has to make sure she does the walk the whole time. <laughs> and then we have Courtney. Last but not least. So she was also a Victoria's Secret angel. And I love it. I remember those wings. I remember when I first saw the like lineup. You know how they have that picture online of all of them lined up? her and her sisters lined up as Victoria's Secret models. I remember I was like, those wings, I've seen those wings before. And then I read the caption and it said, oh, like, thanks Victoria's Secret for giving us the actual costumes. And I was like, aha. I love these wings. Cause I remember when I was watching the actual show, I was like, oh, those wings are so different. And I think she was, oh, okay. So she has this too. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, she just has Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, that's hilarious. Before I even saw the full picture, I already knew it from the dress because that looks like an Ariana Grande dress that she'll wear. And the, pony and the ponytail. And the mic in the hands. And the thigh high boots. This is fully Ariana Grande, so makes sense. So this is all the sisters together in their Victoria's Secret gear. They all have nice ass bodies, you know. They all look great. They all have nice flat stomachs, reminding all of us that don't have kids that we are slacking. My favorite outfit is between Kendall and Kim. 
Partly because they look like I like how their bodies looking at the best. And partly because they fit like when I think of Victoria's Secret model, they look the most like Victoria's Secret models to me. Like it looks so and their costumes fit them so well. So who wins between Kendall and Kim? I'm gonna have to give it to Kendall, just because Kendall is an actual Victoria's Secret model. So she's not even even have to pretend. But at the same time, maybe I should give it to Kim because it is Halloween and you're supposed to be, be something and you're not. And Kim is not a Victoria's Secret model. So I think Kim wins. <laughs> In conclusion, I think Kim wins. Um, least favorite. I don't really care for Courtney's. Like I don't like that stomach, that thing that she has on her stomach. It stresses me out. The thin on her waist made her stomach or her like waist look wider than it is. It's not that wide. So I don't really care for that. Either way, they all look bomb. That's all that matters. Moving on! The Kardashian clan. Oh, let me see if Chris had anything. She was Cleopatra. Her version of Cleopatra. Her super rich version of Cleopatra. And it looks pretty cool. It looks like a bombing outfit. But I don't think it's by bombing. But it looks like something that bombing will make because it looks heavy as hell and thick as hell. Looking at her face, her makeup could have been more Cleopatra-like. Like, it should have been a bit more theatrical. But her costume is nice. And I don't know why, but I wish her hair was out. I don't know if I like it with her hair up like that. Oh, wait! <laughs> I forgot she doesn't- her hair is short! <laughs> her hair is short, my bad. But I think she should have worn a wig for the Cleopatra, for the Cleopatra look. Sierra killed it! Yep, yep, yep. Yep, I think she won Halloween altogether. Altogether, in honesty, out of all the celebrity outfits I have seen, hers wins in all the ways. Her whole, her whole family as a unit <laughs> looks good for Halloween. Russell could have done a bit more with the outfit. His face, like he had the mask on, he could have done a bit more with like actually going full outfit because it's kind of taken away from the family unit. <laughs> but they look good as a unit. Like her outfit was amazing. She looks great. Her body looks nice as hell. Her face looks gorgeous. I love the hair. Like, let me see if I can find a close-up. Like, what? This is what I saw. I was like, yes! And she looks so serious. Look at her face, guys. I swear she's too underrated. I swear. Because this girl's too gorgeous. Look at her! Look at her hair! Look at those cheekbones! Like, it looks so good. And see, like, she has something on her waist. But it doesn't make her waist look wide because it's like smashed. I love it. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Next, we're gonna look at <laughs> Rita Ora. And she was. I already saw hers. Hers was funny. She was Post Malone. Like, I'm sorry, guys. This is actually hilarious. She has the Bud Light in hand. She has the cigarette or weed. Cigarettes in hand. She has. That's how he dresses. And then she has all the tattoos and she has the grills. And she has a beard. Yo, I even actually forgot about her beard. And the mustache. And it looks it looks legit. It looks really, really, really legit. She did a really good job. Like, ew! <laughs> this is so gross! She said, rata da da da! What's good? She wins. She wins for effort. Like this takes a lot of effort. No, is that her concert that she did that at? But this is what you call committing. You got a Post Malone and Rita Ora video uh, concert. No, that's actually hilarious. She actually committed to it. And she did her whole show like that. She looks like a man. Like, what the hell? And she actually like is doing the whole movement like a guy too. Like she's walking like a guy and everything. <laughs> what is so cool? And she did a good job. She did a good job. She did a great job. She even posed like him! She's like... <laughs> Rita Ora, she won for it, like, she gets an A for effort. If everyone did a Halloween like Rita Ora, we'll be so entertained, like, I'll be so entertained. Next, we have Tiana Taylor with her nice body, and she is Mortal Kombat T uh, Kitana. Kind of Tiana Kitana. Kind of rhymes in a way, not really rhymes, but it kind of sounds, it complements each other. But her costume is cool. It's cool, mostly because of her body. <laughs> mostly because she has a nice body. 
Oh, she performs that costume. That's cool. But hers is more because of her body. And her daughter also dressed up as... A sponge! That is such a cute idea. And this woman, she made her daughter actually go to the shower and go like that. <laughs> it's a cute idea though. I love that idea. That's the cutest like kid costume I've seen in a while. Junie bug. I'm, I'm surprised she wasn't a bug because she's always calling her child like Junie bug. So I'm surprised she didn't make her a bug. And then you have Tracy Alice Ross. Last but not least, what is she doing? <laughs> She's so silly. What is this? Look at her face the whole time. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, Nigerian dance! Eh, Nigeria! Woo! She can do it better than I can. I'm not Nigerian. I can't do that this whole way. I don't know if she's doing it right, but... Uh, I love it. I knew I was going to see a lot of Black Panther costumes this year, but I didn't see as much as I thought I was going to see. She has her Bantu knots. I love it! And I love her silliness. And she is a good way to wrap up this Halloween extravaganza because I'm tired. <laughs> I need to dress up next year. I always, I've not dressed up for such a long time. I need to dress up. Who won Halloween this year for me? Sierra. Sierra and Trita Order. They can, they're like, they won it for different reasons. Sierra won it because she just looks so good and she like killed her costume. And Rita Ora won it because of her commitment. Like, she committed to that costume. She was Post Malone. She didn't dress up as Post Malone. She was him. So that was pretty cool. And I don't know. I love when like, celebrities dress up as other celebrities. It's so funny to me. Like, it's hilarious to me. I wish they got a picture together. That's what I really wish they happened. So that was my reaction to Celebrity Halloween Costumes 2018. I don't know how to speak English anymore. And this is when I know the video is over. <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other videos, anything at all you want me to react to and subscribe for more videos coming your way. You can also go ahead and click that notification bell and you'll get notifications whenever I put up a new video and I'll see you back here next time. Bye!